Welcome. I'm thrilled to be kicking off our Intel vPro 13th Gen press briefing. I lead our commercial client segment at Intel. And later in the presentation, I'll be joined by my colleague, Mike Nordquist, who will walk you through more of the details of the product benefits and why, quite simply, we have the best business computing platform available today. Let's start with the fact that we have a mutually shared mission with every IT decision maker around the world to deliver products and technologies that keep organizations running and workers productive. And of course, keeping data safe. Let's walk through the four key whys Intel vPro is the best technology investment for businesses today. This is an overview of what we're gonna go deeper into in coming slides, but let's just do a quick review. Security, first and foremost, the most important aspect of a business PC. So at Intel, we work so closely with our OEMs, our ISVs, and our OSV partners to stay ahead of the bad guys who are getting more and more sophisticated with every minute. And most importantly, businesses get the very best hardware and software then right out of the box. In fact, our latest platforms reduce the attack surface by close to 70%. Obviously, it's important to refresh. It's no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. Later in the presentation, Mike's gonna go walk through the enormous benefits when organizations refresh to the latest platform and the latest software. 13th gen Intel Core processors were designed and tested to optimize productivity for the real way your employees compute. We can't wait to share the latest benchmarks with you. They're gonna be amazing. With nearly two decades of commercial experience, Intel's proud to deliver the best computing foundation for any business. Intel vPro remains the unrivaled business computing foundation for organizations of all sizes. Okay, so that was the overview. Now let's talk about what's new this round. So starting with security, let me point out a few things I want you to really pay attention to throughout this presentation. Intel vPro in recent studies showed an estimated 70% attack surface reduction versus four-year-old PCs. Older hardware just simply can't keep up with today's attacks. And Intel has the only AI-based hardware threat detection. We've partnered with endpoint detection and response EDR vendors, bringing a higher efficacy detection of the latest threats without compromising performance. Pretty amazing. And finally, our silicon-based virtualization has taken virtualization-based security to a game-changing new level with Windows 11. Let's talk about the necessity of refresh. We engineer and test for seamless transition to Windows 11, so you don't have to worry about it. And I'm super excited for you to hear how we've pushed our products further to suit the new world of hybrid work. You'll also hear a number of benchmarks we'll go through shortly, but pay special attention to our new platform versus three-year-old PCs, as well as vPro versus the competition. We have up to 24 cores, higher core count, to support more complex workloads. Okay, so let's transition into security. Security has come a long way over the years. The bad guys are getting more and more sophisticated, but so are we. We know our customers have a heavy focus on detection and response. Through the use of AI, we've empowered vPro to detect ransomware, crypto mining, and other attacks. It's a 93% efficacy to stop the top ransomware attacks, which is a 24% boost over software alone. This hardware innovation is being recognized this year, in fact, by SE Labs that gave Intel its Top Innovators Award. Our integration with CrowdStrike is a great example of this, and you'll hear more about that in the coming slides. Now let's take virtualization. It's come a long way in four years. Windows 11 is some of the most advanced prevention solutions, the, the ability to isolate credentials, workloads, BIOS. So with Microsoft, we've ratcheted up and eliminated that potential attack surface. And most importantly, this comes out of the box with vPro and Windows 11. So we talked about some of the security features, 
but what's the impact? What's the benefit? IDC has reported 26% lower risk of major PC-related security events on Intel PCs versus the competition, and 21% less impactful, really devastating security events. This raises security team efficiencies by 17%. It's incredibly strong data. We really want our customers to think of prevention and help reduce the noise and data that they're seeing at the detection point, which is what you get with vPro. Dozens of security capabilities deep in the silicon that are all working together with the world's leading software, ISVs, OEMs for the cumulative effect of an attack surface reduction. So we are staying ahead of the bad guys. And we're building that prevention right into vPro. No one wants their business to be the next security breach headline. Intel Threat Detection has the first and only hardware-based ransomware detection to improve the efficacy and speed at which the latest attacks are detected. And today, we're highlighting several new security partners who are integrating or releasing new Intel Threat Detection-enabled solutions. I'll highlight the pioneering work CrowdStrike has done to reimagine memory scanning to uncover fileless, malware-free attacks at the earliest phases before they deploy on the PC or across the fleet. All of these partners are extending and building on the value of Intel vPro security, and it's coming at a massive scale. We've done the work to enable some of the largest security EDR vendors out there so that when you choose Intel, you get the added benefit of boosting the efficacy and performance of your security software by just deploying the right ones. This value comes essentially out of the box for enterprises. All right, but now let's talk about reality. Let's talk about a day in the life of an IT worker. This is the person we are trying to support. Of course, vPro supports common basic standards such as Dash, but we exceed those in those basics in so many new ways. For example, in our vPro enterprise offering, once a business activates our unique out of the band management technology, the IT department can schedule antivirus system checks with the employee when they're not using their PC. They can remotely wake a desktop PC to conduct security software updates. If the PC is not always already configured for Microsoft Secure Core PC compliance, they can even remotely go into the system's firmware and configure the relevant Intel Hardware Shield technologies. These use cases and many others can be executed over the cloud to even reach PCs outside the corporate firewall. This is a must have in today's remote and hybrid reality. So let me show you in action a typical day of an IT administrator. So our IT admin is based in LA, but she needs to support employees in Brisbane, not to mention Abu Dhabi and Rio. She needs to ensure the right security patches detect malware attacks and enable employees that they can work anywhere, home, the coffee shop, or the office. So first off, onboarding new employees in their Brisbane site. She needs to deploy a new device, configure it, and also be able to support that whole process. Intel vPro and Workspace ONE have linked the vPro platform silicon and cloud-native Workspace ONE technologies to allow IT to remotely configure the PC. In the past, this required the employee to go on site, work with the help desk, and manually download images and apps on prem. But now our IT admin can do this from LA, and the new employee can be asleep in Brisbane. So she can manage and update that advice with minimal disruption in service and keep productivity high. Our joint solution will introduce out of band patching to help with updates while navigating around varying usage hours of devices. This patching is done without the use of a VPN, enabling the device to be better secured while avoiding any disruption to the user. Now, onto the importance of refresh and why Intel and why now. I'm going to hand this part over to Mike Nordquist to explain what we have brought to the table. It truly highlights how vulnerable a business is if you have not updated to the latest hardware. Welcome, Mike. All right, Steph, thanks for walking us through that. Now let's jump in a little bit to refresh. You know, we hear a lot of people talking about, hey, I just can't refresh. It'd be nice to do, right? But I just maybe can't afford it in this space. And we don't think it's a luxury, right? It's something that it's a smart choice for you to do. Now, when you look at the reasons why, 
We just take a three-year-old PC, look at what you maybe have in your install base, and we compare it to our new 13th Gen vPro platform. And we take a look at a couple of the key areas here. We've got productivity, security, and experiences, right? So for those end users, what are they gonna get? They're gonna get awesome productivity. We've got a new hybrid architecture that's coming into play here, taking advantage of our new process technology and more cores that are gonna give you the best performance to keep you as productive as, as possible. And I'll talk a little bit more later on about how we actually do that. Stephanie already hit a bunch on security. We know this is top of mind. And we made a bunch of enhancements in the last four years to give us the best hardware-based uh, security that's out in the marketplace. That's gonna help protect you and take advantage of things like AI. And it's also gonna actually reduce the attack surface. In some cases, we've got some estimates up to 70%. We do that through protecting the BIOS. As you take virtualization and turn that on, we've got extra hardware protections that are gonna help. And there's different things that we put in the hardware like ROP CET that eliminate entire classes of attack when paired with things like Windows 11 OS. On top of those things, you can't forget about the experiences. This is how people are getting their work done. Whether it's having awesome connectivity, so those calls that you're in, they don't drop or reconnect or anything in that space, you've got Wi-Fi 6E that's gonna give you great bandwidth. If it's connecting to those two you know, 4K displays that a lot of us do on a daily basis now, you've got Thunderbolt 4 to just facilitate that. If it's just making sure, hey, I've got a great baseline experience. We didn't have Evo three and a half years ago. We now have Evo to make sure there's a minimum bar of experience as you, as you look across our platforms. And then obviously, intelligent collaboration. How do I make sure I'm collaborating? I can turn on all the capabilities, whether it's noise cancellation, background blurring, whatever the next version of that is, I've got the foundational elements in my hardware to take advantage of that. So those are all new great things that you wouldn't see on a three-year-old PC. Now the question is, you're looking to refresh. Why does it make sense from a financial perspective? And why Intel? Well, why should I refresh with Intel? We started long ago and we've, we've talked in the last 20 years about our, our SIP program. That's really about stability, making sure we have an IT platform that's got stability. We think we've got the highest bar of what it takes to, to have a stable platform, something that you can buy and have availability for 15 months in this space, as well as just designing it for out of the box capability, right? We wanna get this thing up and running. And we also wanna have things like security updates, very easy to find, very easy to deploy to really keep that uptime. And when you look across, we did actually a study with IDC on this one to find out what can you expect from a financial perspective in this case? So if I just start in the first one with Intel, we've got 14% lower five-year cost of operations per PC. That adds up to $934 per PC. If you look at productivity, right? Downtime is time people can't work. If I'm not up and working, in many cases, it's the portal into my world. It's not like I can just always walk over to someone else if I'm not in the office. So how do you make sure they're not losing that productivity? 22% lower because of that uptime around PC security and performance issues in this space. And then because we thought about this from a out of the box experience, we work closely with those industry partners, whether it be the OEMs, our OS partners, with Intel-based PC, 15% faster to deliver those new PCs. Now let's talk a little bit about enabling modern business uh, computing. So we've got some great uh, performance technologies, really four different categories in this space that deliver this. We start with our performance cores. That's what people a lot of times think of when they think of Intel is you've got great top line performance. And we do with our performance cores, also known as our, our P cores, you'll hear, hear us call them that. We've got a new design and new circuitry in there to take advantage of that new architecture. Combining that with some of our new Intel 7 process technology, you get great top line performance. But it's not just that top line performance of a single threaded uh, application or, or high performance applications. It's also taking advantage of what we call our efficient cores, our e-cores, right? That gives us the capability to do much better multi-threaded across different cores. In many cases, these efficient cores are gonna be uh, lower power in this space. And so we've designed it with a hybrid technology. You can switch between those two. Now the question is, how do I know which core to run it on? Am I gonna have to rewrite a bunch of software? No, you don't have to rewrite a bunch of software. We have actually worked with our OSVs in this space to include what we call Intel Thread Director. They're just gonna seamlessly go ahead and move the tasks or the applications from either performance cores or e-cores, depending on what makes the most sense. So it's really about smart task classification, 
really making that s simple for the end user as well as just the application provider that is writing the software for the platform. And then finally, those are great things, but what about just great battery life and energy efficiency? We have what's called Intel Dynamic Tuning Technology, or you hear us call DTT. And that's really just about optimizing to decide which core do I want to run it on? How am I going to turn off other areas of our SOC to make it as efficient as possible? And you know, if you're in a mobile system, have great battery life. So it's really designed for how people work today in the complex workloads of tomorrow. And speaking of workloads, we'd now like to show you a collaboration demo that accentuates the need for modern devices. Let's hear from Craig to see this in action with a collaboration demonstration. Hey, Mike. I'm here from the home office to show you our, how our newest vPro systems are using intelligent collaboration to improve the remote conferencing experience. So we all know that vPro is known for amazing security and manageability, but Intel has been working on new intelligent features to make your remote conferencing the best it's ever been. So let's jump in. And as you can see, our entire demo here is housed inside of a Microsoft Teams call. And the first thing you should notice is that amazing webcam clarity. We're now bringing full HD cameras with amazing fidelity to your meetings. And uh, we got Victor on the line here. Hey, Victor, how about you? You look great. That's great because you look awful. Sorry, Victor, cheap, cheap, cheap shots. But for comparison, Victor's on a 10 Gen B Pro system and you can immediately see a quality difference. Also, Intel uses AI to adjust intelligent features like head tracking, so I can move in and out of my camera's view and still be in the conference, as well as advanced effects for improved segmentation, like background blur. Look at how crisp that looks. Oh, love it. And we'll go ahead and bring this back. But now let's talk about sound. And Intel smart microarrays provide intelligent noise suppression to eliminate sounds like your barking dogs and vacuum cleaners. They'll never derail your calls again. As a matter of fact, for a quick example, let me switch over my audio input here away from the Intel microarrays. And now you should be hearing the sound I've heard the entire call, which is this crazy landscaping crew right outside my window as far as all this background noise. But when I go back over, ugh, now you can have the confidence to conference from anywhere, even that loud coffee shop. So these intelligent collab features will make your video conferencing an amazing experience versus a frustrating one. And we know that you're absolutely going to love it. Thanks, Mike. Back to you. Thanks, Craig. Now, we still get a lot of people that says, hey, that looks great. I, I, I see you guys have a very cool demo. But in a lot of cases, people are still looking at benchmarks. And they're saying, how much am I improving on some of the benchmarks? I actually want to measure that data. We're an engineering-driven company. We want to measure that, too, as we go through. And so what we've done here is we've set up a couple different scenarios. The first one's really using Sysmark. That's a pretty uh, recognized benchmark that we see a lot of our customers run and look through that. We also have UL Procyon that's, that's in here as well. That's becoming very common. Uh, the previous version of this, you've heard called PC Mark. That's very probably familiar to a lot of different folks. And what we did is we just said, hey, let's just measure this compared to last year's platform that we we're putting out. So we brought in some of that hybrid technology just even in our 12th gen. Now with our 13th gen, we've improved. We did some of those uh, processor improvements that I just talked about. What kind of results are we seeing? As we look at the desktop processor on the left-hand side here, you see 7% on Sysmark, right? You'll see 15% uh, better on, on the Procyon. So pretty good improvements year over year. As we go ahead and we move over to the right-hand side, we look at our mobile products, we see 11 and 12% faster. So double-digit gains, even when we just look at our products we introduced a year ago. So we're pretty proud of those double-digit gains, just generation over generation, really getting the benefits. But most people aren't just upgrading every year. They're saying, well, hey, that's great, but how much better is it going to be in my install base that I might have that could be three or four years old? So what we did here is we just took a three-year-old PC and we said, hey, this might be something that you have in your infrastructure right now you're considering replacing. How much am I going to get from a benefit perspective if I go and do that? If I look on the left-hand side of compared to our desktop products in this space, you can see here, as I look across, we got 65 and 51% better as you look at those two different benchmarks. So pretty good, over 50% on both of those benchmarks. And if you move over to mobile, we even see a more striking difference here when we look at Sysmark 30 with 2.3x faster with the number of cores that we moved from maybe where we were three years ago to what we're doing today. 
59% better on Procyon. So, you know, kind of light years performance, we think, in just three years of what you can get. So a lot better responsiveness for whatever your applications are in this space. Now, if we take that and we say, well, that's great, but I have different options. How are you guys compared to competition? And so what we did is we took and we did a desktop competitive comparison. We took that Sysmark 30 and said, what does it look like? Again, double digit lead of 12% on Sysmark 30 versus what AMD is able to offer here with their 7,900. As we look on the mobile side, how much faster? Great bang for the buck here, 40% faster on Sysmark 30 in those mobile products. And then, you know, get people asking, well, what about compared to Apple? How do you compare uh, with them? Now, some of these benchmarks, we can't run on Mac OS, right? One of the places we can is on Crossmark. So we went ahead and we ran Crossmark and we took a look, still 25% faster there. So pretty great gains, even from last year, compared to a three-year-old, amazing. And compared to competition, we, we have a pretty healthy lead as well. So we think we've got a great performance story as you look across the spectrum of benchmarks. So that's great. That's the benchmarks we typically see. A lot of times we'll see them in RFQs as we talk to businesses, but we're starting to have people look at, well, what about real world? What if I hand this to uh, some of the employees in this space? What are they gonna see? What are they gonna feel? They're probably not gonna run the benchmark. So can you give me some examples of a workflow that I might see? And we know from a data analyst perspective, we see people doing a lot of different things. Number one, people are on teams, right? They're doing video on Teams for whatever they do in this space. So we went ahead and we fired up an uh, individual initiating a Microsoft Teams collaboration session. Very common, pretty much everyone does that now. Now, depending on what you're doing in this example, we said, hey, let's go ahead and pr while presenting, let's open up Power BI and let's run a report. Let's do some different tweaks on it. In this case, we removed a region, we re-rendered a report, and then we exported that uh, report to PDF. What kind of things are we seeing when we go run through that? So that's a typical persona that we might see at an IT corporation running multi-things. This is really what our architecture has been designed for. And so you're gonna see even bigger gains. When we look at what AMD is able to offer in their notebook, 58% faster, right? And if you look at what most people are probably on, which could be a three-year-old PC, you see 2.8X faster. So dramatic leaps as we move across here. Okay, well, you may say, that's great. You've, you've got one example. Do you have any more examples? What we did here is we looked at another persona. So in this case, a content creator, right? We know those are people that are using the most and, and really taking advantage of some of these new architectures and capabilities. And so we just started out and we looked at some of the different uh, Adobe products in this case. We've got Premiere Pro that's up and running, right? We've got a background time task. So they kick that off, they're running it. Got teams again, right? Because we all know right now we can't do anything without some sort of collaboration going on, which is great. So we're running that on. We've got noise suppression, background blur because there's a bunch of things going on. And then we kicked off and we're starting to do, in this case, Adobe Photoshop, right? We're doing some tweaking as a content creator in this space. Again, compared to what competition can do in the desktop space, 45% faster. And if you compare to your install base that's probably out there, this one's just three years old, 2.3x faster, right? So you're starting to see those multi-cores, the new architecture that we have, really able to take advantage of this as we start to layer in real world applications and how people actually use these devices. So we've walked through that, shown some examples. Again, in this case, it's always great to see a real world demo. And so I'm gonna go ahead and, and hand it off to Craig here. He's gonna walk through that demo and then we're gonna hand the keys back to Stephanie to finish this up. Hey Mike. So let's jump into a performance demonstration that we have between these two vPro machines. Over here on your left-hand side, we have a 13th gen Raptor Lake vPro machine. And over here, this system is a 10th gen vPro. And we're gonna go ahead and put them through a couple of t creator tasks and office workloads to be able to do the comparison that we have in performance between these generations. So let's jump right in. So here we have our two machines, and they're both currently logged into a Microsoft Teams call. So while this video presentation is being streamed to us, we're actually going to start a couple of workloads that we have in the background. So let's go ahead and start it off with Adobe Premiere Pro. Here we're going to take a series of video clips and compress them together, add music and effects, and start that render. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to go ahead and directly go over to Photoshop and do some tilt, shift, and blur processing for this other picture and start that workload as well. So that's two additional high render workloads that we have going in addition to our Teams call. 
So while that's going on in processing, let's switch back to our call and see how we're doing. It's looking pretty good on the 13th gen side, but over here on the 10th gen system, obviously it's not just the clock speeds that are delaying the machine here, but it's also throttling between all the individual workloads. However, on the 13th gen side, it looks like we were made to deal with workloads like this. So as you can see, we have a huge delta in performance after just a few generations. And over on our 13th gen machine over here, you can see that hybrid architecture really allows us that amazing extra headroom and able to intelligently deal with our workloads to get that best performance. Now, it looks like our 10th gen over here is still gonna need a couple more minutes to go ahead and finish this render, but let's not beat up on the poor guy. He did great for us a couple of gens ago, but Really, the takeaway here is our 13th gen machines is the smartest way that you can compute for your business. Thank you, Craig. Thanks, Mike. So for nearly two decades, Intel has closely partnered with the worldwide commercial software ecosystem to bring you amazing technical innovations, insights, and expertise. I'm particularly proud of how we partner. We have the broadest, most open ecosystem in the computing world. Over 150 ecosystem partners working with vPro to bring their solutions to suit unique business needs, local or global. The commercial space is not monolithic. Office workers to road warriors, content creators to data analysts, and across the high-end computing spectrum to engineers and developers. We offer our vPro capabilities in every choice of form factor, laptops, desktops, and workstations. Small businesses and the public sector can choose between vPro Enterprise or vPro Essentials. And this year, we expect over 170 Intel vPro devices to become available. A huge shout out to our fantastic OEM partners. Intel vPro provides industry leading platform security and we have shown you just how our capabilities are real. They're enabled by both Windows and our third party ecosystem partners. Intel vPro is the best platform for PC refresh, offering tremendous benefits over three to four-year-old PCs, including significant 70% attack surface reduction and delivering real-world business computing with solutions for all types of workers. So thank you for attending our launch event today. We invite you to stay on with us for the Q&A session, which will begin shortly. Thanks.